In this video, we're going to look at example two. Now it says that the following table shows the monthly repayments you will make for each $1,000 you borrow. And we've got to underline that that's very important. It's only for each $1,000 you borrow. And we'll talk more about that later. Vanessa is planning to borrow $560,000 for a house and to repay the loan over a period of 30 years. So we'll circle that here, 30 years. Um, the bank has offered her an interest rate of 4%. So notice once again that these two numbers here will match up to an amount, which is $4.77. That's the repayment. Now we've got to be careful with that. So we'll say that the repayment for Vanessa is $4.77. Now it's not $4.77 a month. It's $4.77 per $1,000 borrowed per month. So let's look at the amount of money she borrowed. She borrowed $560,000, which is 560 lots of $1,000. So if she's going to pay $4.77 per thousand and she's got going to borrow 560 thousands then we might need to multiply this by 560 so let's do that now four dollars 77 times 560 which gives us 2671 2671 dollars and 20 cents her monthly repayment is going to be $2,671.20. Question B says, how much interest will she end up paying over the term of the loan? Well, we know how much she's paying per month, $2,671.20. There are 12 months in a year, and we are told that she's doing this for a period of 30 years, so we need to also multiply this by 30. Bringing up our calculator, we have our amount there already. We times by 12, and times by 30, giving us $961,632, almost a million dollars. This is a very large amount. Now, they're asking us to calculate the interest. The interest is the amount of extra money that the bank made from her. So we need to take the total amount of money that she paid the bank, 961632 and subtract the amount of money that she borrowed from the bank, 560000 What do we get when we do this? We're going to minus 560000 which comes to 401632 This is the interest that she ended up paying, or the amount of money that the bank profited from this deal. Anyway, that concludes example two. Remember to read the description below for links to workbooklets that relate to this video.